I'm with Ace Appliance in Toledo, Ohio, and welcome back to another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by ApplianceVideo.com. All right, the, the tools you'll need to complete this repair are a uh, wire crimpers, uh, wire strippers and cutters, uh, quarter inch nut driver, and uh, a multimeter with a, a, a current reading amp clamp. So we were on a frigid air refrigerator with the uh, initial problem was that it was a no cool. And when we originally arrived, we could hear the compressor run and then heard a click and it shut off. And that means that it was uh, clicking off on its overload. And what we did was we, we checked it out and checked the overload and found that it was bad. And we then checked the compressor to make sure that all of the uh, windings were good. So now we've come back with new starting components. We're going to install those and then take a current check to make sure that the compressor is running at the right current. And that'll be good. So we're gonna begin by removing our, our back panel and they're just quarter inch bolts. So now we can remove this panel and gain access to our starting components down here. So the first thing we're going to do is, is remove our old starting components from the compressor. So we're going to take those off and remove our capacitor and put that right on to the, the new starting components. Uh, while these are the original equipment starting components, the old terminals are much larger. So we're going to install some new terminals and repair the, the wiring to them and then install it on the compressor. So we are going to remove the, the terminals from the old, on the wires, the old terminals and remove some of the insulation and once that insulation is removed we're just going to make sure there's no nicked or cut strands of wire and we'll do the same thing to the other side and these are pretty heavily insulated so you might have to get through the first layer and get right down to that do an inspection now we can take our our new terminals and a wire crimper put that in the little groove run our new wires into there and get the insulation right up in there and crimp the wire into place. Next we'll just give it a little tug test, make sure we got a good connection. And we'll do the same to the other side. And get our wire in there real good. Make sure all our strands are straight. And we'll crimp that one down real good. Give it a little tug test. We have good connections on both. And now we'll hook these back up to our new starting components and put it on the compressor. Okay, we're now going to install our new terminals. With those in place, we can line up our starting components uh, with the, the pins on the compressor. So we'll get that right back into place. And once they're lined up, it'll go right on. Now there is a uh, little strain relief that will go on there's a, a spot right on the bottom of the compressor that we can 
attach this to and once it's on there we'll route it up and it'll just uh, make sure that the starting components stay in place so with that on it'll go right up to the top of the compressor it's a nice snug fit there we go and now with with our components in place we're going to put a, an amp clamp around uh, one of the wires coming in and check the the current reading so we'll get our multimeter out and on this one uh, what we'll be looking for is when we plug it in and the compressor starts the current will go up to about 10 or 12 amps and then come right back down to a resting current draw of around one or two amps so we'll get our meter on the main lead there and now we're going to plug it in and watch this come up and then go back down to a nice resting running current so here we go we're going to plug it in see how it came up and went back down now we'll just leave it on there and, and let it run we can see now that is drawing a, a really low current, barely readable, and that's what you're looking for for a, a good compressor. So we're satisfied with our uh, current reading on our <clears throat> with our new starting components in place. So we're just going to button this appliance back up and get our rear panel back in place and reinstall our bolts. Get our water line all secured. Now we can put our unit back into place, plug her in, and let it cool. Thank you for watching another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.